Hey guys, good morning from beautiful, sunny Mazatlan. Oh, what a great place. I'm a little later than what's normal. It's uh, almost nine o'clock. I slept in this morning. It was so quiet up at the house. It was beautiful. But now that you can see sunny Mazatlan and how beautiful it is, I want you to check out my latest t-shirt design that's available on my YouTube store. Take a look at this. You can have your own Sunny Mazatlan t-shirt and I want to see who's going to be the first one to send me a picture wearing one. Or to walk into Edgar's or walk into Chiblio's wearing one. That should be interesting. So here it is, the latest design. You can get this on my YouTube channel. Done that. Let's go for a walk. Ooh, it is hot. I feel like I've been locked up in the, in the house. A couple of rainy mornings. And then just intense heat this week. Holy smokes. Just don't feel like going for a long walk when it feels like it's 44 degrees. Today I think I'll just go down down the Malacan here, see what we see. Always nice. One of my favorite pastimes is getting a cup of coffee and sitting in the shade in front of the and taking in the slate. Early in the morning here, this marathon is well shaded by Cerro de Neveria, Icebox Hill. Not so much now, but a bit. Then when I walk back, I'll walk up through the neighborhood and usually you can find a little shade there. It's getting better now that we're into late July. There is some shade even in the middle of the day. God, in mid-June, the sun's directly overhead and there is no shade in the middle of the day. <laughs> Ladies here, Jehovah's Witness. There's, oh, they have five churches in the other land? I don't know if they call them churches, but anyway. When is that are local or that watch this that live in Mexico. You ever deal with Mercado Libre? It's kind of a Mexican Amazon, I guess. Well, I used to. I used to buy a few things from them. And sometimes they had some pretty good deals. But lately when I try and sign into my account, it says we need your, not only your number, but we need a photo of your INF or your INE card. I've been here over eight years and I never heard of either one. So I looked them up to see what they are. They're photo registration cards, which of course are only available to Mexican citizens. Right in that country that requires you to show ID to vote. What country? And uh, of course, I'm uh, a permanent resident which in the state you'd be called
called a resident alien or in Canada a landed immigrant. So I have all the rights of a Mexican citizen except the right to vote. So I can't imagine why Mercado Libre would want to cut out all its gringo business. I wonder, I wonder if it's like a girl they haven't considered. She enjoys that. And this week, we seem to make some progress on the medical insurance front. Oh, God, how frustrating. It's been going on since April for her to get a surgery. Lots of people in the pool. That tells you how warm it is. I always say you know it's hot when the Mexicans start complaining about the heat. Well, if they didn't, they really were both talking about how hot it was yesterday. So. Yep. Only three more months of this. Gonna see it. And I find October to be the toughest month. Oh my god, it's still hot. It's been hot for months. You know it's gonna end soon. It usually sticks around really till Halloween before the weather breaks and start getting less humidity and more comfortable temperatures. It's just ooh, a long wait.
brake and then walk back up the hill. Through the hood. although it doesn't say so on it. Sure glad the nephew came home and stopped him from cutting the big tree down.